Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a flea market haul. Um, we went to the flea market there in Canton, Texas, first Monday trade days and I found a few items to share with you. Now these items I have had for a while, actually for over a year. I completely forgot about them. They were in a bag and um, as I was cleaning in here in this feminine room, um i ran across them so i want to show y'all just some of the items that i i picked up so um first off one of the first booths that we stop at me and my niece usually um it's just me and her sometimes my daughter will um stop with us but it is a, a booth called um ribbons and spice let me just make sure Yes, Ribbons and Spice. They have actually a Facebook page and an Instagram. Um, I don't think that they sell their necklaces on that, or not the kind of necklaces that I'm about to show you, but they do have like clothing and that. So we stop there and we create a necklace. And I have showed y'all the necklaces before in previous hauls, but I'm gonna show them to y'all again in this haul. So you pick out your chain which um, I usually get the ball chain and there's different links. And um, so I get a chain and then you select a, um, how, how you're gonna connect them. So in this case, I picked up one of these and then um, they have little, like little bowls, little trinket dishes, all different kinds of dishes with different styles of jewelry and um, different types of pendants I guess you could call them and um, you can put your necklace together so for this necklace I wanted it long and I wanted it kind of what I would say a Jesus necklace so that's what I put together um so I picked out this so I will use this this will connect to my necklace and then I picked out the jewels that I wanted on it. So first I picked this up. I don't know if y'all if it's showing up. Let's see. There. Picked up that. So that that's going to be, you know, in the center. And then I picked up a cross. And then I picked up two saint charms. This one is St. Christopher. Let me get. So this is St. Christopher. Sorry. I don't know if that was focused, but this is St. Christopher. He is the saint of travel. Um, so I got this for that. He's a saint of travel. Um, and when my daughter, so my youngest daughter doesn't live here in Texas. And uh, so when she left, um, she actually left on his feast is July 25th. And um, so before she left, we have went to the Basilica there in uh, San, San Juan, Texas and bought her a St. Christopher medallion to wear um, when she left so um and then to to even more to that is that the day that she left is actually saint christopher's feast july the 25th so that was really you know a, a coincidence or you know whatever you want to call it but um so saint christopher the saint of travel and um so i wanted that and then I picked up a St. Anthony. And St. Anthony is the, um, the, the saint of lost items, lost souls, um, and that. So I picked up a St. Anthony. And then um, for the back of my necklaces, sometimes I will buy a charm to go on the back. Like a um, Tiffany's necklace has that... Um, little um pendant on the back i don't know how you call it but they actually had a um tiffany's um piece so i picked that up 
I thought that was cute. So that is the necklace that I created. But I brought my other necklaces because this one's not put together. I wanted to show it to y'all not put together so that you could um, see what it looks like put together. So I brought my other necklaces. And like I say, this is what we, we enjoy doing. This is probably the most that I spend them on one single item while I'm at Canton. Those items that I just showed you was uh, $43.00 and whatever the change was so i mean it's not cheap but it is a lot of fun and she has a ton of different type of items that you can pick from to put on your necklace and it's just a lot of fun it takes time um, to build your necklace but we really enjoy it so um the time before that we went i i have another one it's the same uh length as the one i just showed you and um this is what I put together, but I had it backwards. So this is what it looks like put together. So I like to wear that. So that's the way it looks like. That's what the other one will look like when it gets put together. And I just think it is perfect. And, um, this one I, on the back of it, I put a um, Mary Jesus Joseph medallion on it. And that would be hanging on, on my back of my neck, if you know what I mean. So I picked that up, that I built that one the time before that we were there. And then some of the other ones that I've made throughout the years is um, this one. one this one and uh, this one I had on oh, for my back I said it has all you need is love and that that one is um, on my my back if you can see that's the way it would look hanging on my back so I lo love that look Here's another one that I made. Can't tell which one's backwards. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, there we go. I got it. So, super cool. I guess it's still backwards. I don't understand. Maybe it's this front one. Holy cannoli. Okay, anyway, you get the, the gist of it. Maybe it goes like that. So, there's another one. Here's one. This one's just kind of plain. But sometimes you just need plain. It's an old skeleton key. Um, but you see the different kinds of chains. So they have different kinds of chains that you can choose. And then here's this, this one. So, and these are the shorter ones. So anyway, that is just a lot of fun. We really like that. I have quite a collection of them. Um, the ladies there are always really sweet and, um, so that's what we like to do. Ribbons and spice. And if you've never been to Canton, you need to go. I know like even Louisiana, um, I, I don't know all, all the places they do it, but I, I, I do have, um, I do know somebody that actually they have a bus that goes from Louisiana to Canton and you hop on the bus and it takes you to Canton and then takes you back to Louisiana. So um, I actually even um, was at Canton one time and ran into a classmate that I had not seen in a long, long time. And they actually live in Arkansas and they um, sell purebred puppies and they were down at Canton selling their dogs. So you just never know who you might run into at Canton. Um, and then sometimes they will have like a different little specials 
So one time we went, um, you would get a free charm of their choosing. And so I got that one. Actually, I think that was my niece's and she gave it to me. And another time I got these. These are just a little bitty ones. That one and that one. So fun. Those are fun. Somewhere along the way, I got this. It was not from the same booth, but it's just like a little glass heart. That would be cute to do, you know, if you were making like a bookmark or something to that effect. So that is it for a uh, ribbon and spice. That is my favorite booth. And I love to make those necklaces. Um, so the rest of it is just a, it's a few items that I picked up here and there at different booths. What we really like to be out, um, there's different areas, different arbors. So as you can expect, the people in the arbors, their prices are a little more expensive because they're the, the cost to rent those booths are going to be a little more expensive. But what we really enjoy is to be out in the back where people just have old tables out there and they are just selling, you know, whatever it is they're selling. Um, their prices are going to be lower. They're going to have the stuff that we are looking for, the junk, if you will. And uh, so that's where we like to spend a lot of our time. So some of the um, items that I picked up is this a super cute little trinket tray. I just love the color and the gold on it. It is really dirty and needs some, some cleaning up. It was $3 and it is Norland's Japan. So like I say, it is just a really dirty, but I thought that was super cute. Picked that up. Here's another piece that I picked up kind of milky like blue milk glass maybe i don't know if that's a thing or not uh, two dollars two dollars so a lot of wear on the gold um i'm liable to just um, knock the gold off with the sponge um, you can hardly see it anyway so i picked that up Next is a little vase, or I don't know what it, it may have been like a, I don't know, probably, it could have been a vase, it could have had a lid, I think it may have had a stopper, but it is this, the gold's not too, too bad on it, and it would be cute for like a um, fall little arrangement, and I picked it up for 50 cents. Here's a little um, a little canister. It's got its seal in it, and um, it was fifty cents. So, oh no, it doesn't have a seal. Ugh. I thought it had a, a a a gasket, but it doesn't. But it's still cute. Picked that up. Next is some just some little trim. I don't even know how much I paid for this stuff, but I'm sure it wasn't much. And it's just this blue trim. I think this would be um, nice for a junk journal. And I picked up this pink trim. So I have no idea how much I paid for that, but I'm sure it wasn't much. I picked up some of these. Um, I believe they're probably, now that I, I'm i not even sure, but I think they're pine and I think they probably go in the closet. So these were 50 cents each. I picked up two of them. I can't smell anything. It says handcrafted. I don't know. I mean, it's been over a year, guys. March 2019 is how long this stuff's been in a bag. So... That's how stuff gets buried and you forget you even had it. So a few uh, paper items that I got. I got this, this spiral composition book. I thought it was cool. Um, it's got stamps in it, which is why I got it. Somebody took the time to go through and write down a lot of areas and, um, collect stamps. So I picked that up. The, they use a lot of stamps in junk journaling to make like little collages. 
And then next, I picked up this composition book. And um, it looks like the person that owned it lived in Iowa. And this one has a ton of stamps in it. So, really cool. You can see all the stamps that are missing. All those little spots had stamps on them. I won't flip through all of them, but look how cool. I even got stamps falling out the bottom side. A whole bunch of them just fell out. Um, I love I love the way they used to write. I don't write like that. I, I write big and like loopy and circly. I don't know how you call that writing, but I feel like most of the people that were about that are about my age, they all write like that. All the girls. So there's just a bunch of stamps. They all fell out. And I just thought that was really cool to have somebody stamp collection and uh, be able to utilize that for crafts. So picked those up. I want to say I spent like $5 at this guy's um, area, which was probably these three items. I, I What had happened was... So when you get to Canton, you have to park kind of far and then you have to walk. So it was, it ended up being cold and nobody was expecting it. So we're like digging in my car, trying to find jackets to wrap the babies up in. And, you know, thank goodness that I had several in the trunk of my car and um, it was cold and it was windy. And in the midst of all that, I got out to the tables, which is kind of far, with no cash. Now, my cash was back in the car, so um, I just used what I had, which wasn't much cash. And um, actually, my sister bought these last few things for me, and then I gave her the cash when we got to the car. So um, if you do go to Canton, I do suggest you take cash. Um, even when I go to Ribbons and Spice, sometimes my debit card will not work. My bank will not let that go through. I've been going there for years and I always have to run down and, you <laughs> and use the uh, ATM for that. And then sometimes the ATMs are down. Sometimes you have no cell service. Make sure you have plenty of cash for what you, you're going to want to purchase. Have extra cash in case you find something that you hadn't expected that you might want. Um, so anyway, my cash was in the car. It was too far to go back. My sister loaned me the five bucks to pay for my few little treasures. And uh, that was about the end of my spending. So, um, last but not least, I found this Ringling, um, Brothers and Barnum and Bailey, a circus. This was from 1979. And I just thought it was a really cool, um, to use, for um, junk journaling and then I opened it up to the back and I saw this little girl and I had her she was so precious I loved her you um, used her crown and she would dance around and kick that little foot up I just thought it was so cool so that was probably what sold me on it um, was when I found that so really cool and then plus just the the graphics in this are really cool so that is it guys that is my haul from canton texas if you ever get a chance to go to canton go it is worth it it is a lot of fun um we always enjoy going eating all the food and just having a good time um when we go we take everybody with us so it is like moving i heard um, through there and everybody's stopping here and there, but you know, we have a lot of fun spending time together. Um, me and my sister and our girls, that's usually who goes. And, um, it's just a lot of fun. We get there, we get up early, we eat on the way there, breakfast, and then we're, we're there as soon as they open. So anyway, guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if, um, and join my family here on YouTube. And y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.